Here number 11, we're going to determine if the sequence is arithmetic or geometric and then find the next three terms. All right. So here, if you take a look here, the numbers are um, increasing really rapidly. So we are going to check for a common ratio. So R, it is the second divided by the first. So it's negative four divided by negative two, which becomes a two. And then let's check it again. Negative eight divided by negative four, that becomes a positive two. So that is correct. So this is going to be geometric because we found that common uh, ratio of two. So to go to the next one, we just multiply by two, negative 32. Multiply by 2, this becomes negative 64. Then we go do that one more time. Times that by two, negative 64 times 2. It is a negative 128. Okay. Notice the numbers are changing rapidly. Next, we have 65, 60, 55. This is supposed to be 50. Okay. All right. The numbers are moving slowly. So we're going to check for the common difference. Common difference is the second minus the first. So 60 minus 65, that gets you five. And then let's test the third minus the second, 55 minus 60, that is, oh, sorry, this is negative five, right? And this is also negative five. So it is a, G, uh, this is an arithmetic because there is a common difference of negative five. So goes from 55 mi minus five becomes 50. Then we minus five here gets you 45. Minus five here gets you 40. Minus five here gets you 35, right? And then next, eight, 13, 23. Oh, it looks like it's going very slowly here. So we're gonna check for an arithmetic again. We're gonna find the common difference. The second minus the first, 13 minus eight. So 13 minus eight, that gets you five. Okay, then common difference, it is 18 minus 13, that is also five. So here we can say it is also here a, this is also gonna be arithmetic because we found the common difference. Okay, so go to the next terms, we are going to add 5, so 28 plus 5, that gets you 33, then we add 5, that gets you 38, then we add 5, that gets you 43, okay? All right, let's look here. We have 1, 1.5, 2.5, 3.375, Hmm. Here, it looks like it's going rapidly, okay? So we're gonna test for the common ratio. The second term divided by the first term, that is 1.5, okay? Then we're gonna get this third term, 2.25 divided by the first term, 1.5. 2.25 divided by 1.5, that does also get us 1.5. So to go to each term, you're multiplying by 1.5. So you're gonna need a calculator for this. 3.375 times 1.5, that gets you 55.0625. Multiply by 1.5 to get the next term. That gets you 7.59375. Then the last one, we multiply 1.5. This gets you 11.39062. Five. And this is going to be geometric because there is a common ratio. So there you go. That is how you determine if it is arithmetic or geometric and also find the next three terms in that sequence.